let's get into this for a second. Yes, please. Romy Legacy was supposed to happen with Dorinda, Kelly Ben Simone, Sonia Morgan, potentially Alex McCord, Luann Deliceps, Jill Zarin, Tinsley Mortimer, absolutely no Bethany Frankel. Jill Zarin threw a fit. She felt like her and the other ladies should all be getting the same pay. Well, some of the other ladies, Luann, and I believe Sonia, but Luann felt, no, absolutely not. I've been on the show longer than you. I have more followers than you. I have more notoriety than you. Why should I be getting paid the same thing? And when I, what I found interesting was Bethany Frankel went on and she talked about this on her TikTok and she said, actually, Jill is essentially right. They are starting a new show from the bottom, so they should all get paid the same. No, Bethany, I don't agree with that. And I'm going to tell you why. Because it's not the any, same show from the bottom. It's not the same show from that the bottom. That means a, a new show from the bottom is Real Housewives of New York, the new one we're going to get. That is a show from the bottom. They should all be paid the same this first season. Not the ladies who made the Real Housewives of New York who are going on to another show. Right. These this ladies, one, yes. Yes. These Real, Real Housewives of New York, yes. Get paid the same. That's fine. But the other ladies, no, they've definitely earned it. And I feel like that's, I love Bethany Frankel. I think that she's given us really iconic moments. I think, I mean, she's flipped (laughs) out. She literally has, she's like, you sleep with everybody. I mean, she's, she's given us a lot. However, that's rich coming from you because when Bethany, every time she talks about negotiations or coming back on, she wants a producer credit and she wants a bigger bag four times the size that of anybody else. So what? Agreed. It's a little hypocritical here. It's Bethany. a little hypocritical. Um, I, but what's happening with this? Jill Zarin is not coming back into this. No. So they booted her out and now Ramona Singer is back in. And instead of doing a legacy spinoff with all the OGs, what they're going to do is an ultimate girls trip style spinoff. And it's set to start filming in June All of the women just got their contracts. They're in negotiations. They're currently signing them off, which like I told you guys, before this news came out this weekend, I talked to you guys on the morning meeting last week, Jason and I and Shaylee, Jason, Shaylee and I, we spoke about this because we had a former Real Housewife of New York joining us on for an interview. Now I'm in limbo wondering if she's still going to be able to do it, but we'll see. I think so. I think so, yeah. They're going to be taking this OG cast and sticking them like, let's say, Turks and Caicos, Mexico, Scary Island with Kelly Ben Simone. I don't know. But they're putting them on a vacation for like two weeks and they're filming like one offs where they're going to give us eight to 10 episodes and then they can also continue on and do whatever else they want in life. And they're not contractually tied down to Bravo. That is exactly what they're doing. Yeah. Yep. I mean, are you into it or no? I'm so into it. This is a group of ladies who can carry like an ultimate girls trip style. I'm so I I wish we had Tinsley. Mm. Don't you think? Or no? I mean, she you might would... be coming on. Yeah, I wish we had her. Um, Kelly Ben Simone. I'm not the biggest fan of. She's but... just she's just woo-hoo! enough to like throw her exactly, in there. Exactly, exactly, and like. You know, here's the thing about Ramona. Agree with her or not on a lot of things, she is great television. And we really need great television, especially after the last season of, of New York. Like, it's just like we can't get too political. We can't get too into that. Not in Real Housewives. If you want to have real conversations, have them off the show. I think this is a great uh, this is a great cast for a really probably great show. Yeah, I, I also feel like Tinsley could be good, but... I saw where some people were voicing their opinions about Leah McSweeney and Ebony not being a part of the legacy spinoff. And I have opinions about Why that. Why would too. they? Ebony yeah. did one season. Yeah. Leah did what, two? Right. And it was so uninteresting. You know, I and, and we said it before. I love Ebony K. Williams. I, I loved her as a journalist. I used to watch her. I, reality TV is probably just not for her, you know? Right. Um, really like her, but why would you be on a legacy cast if you've only done one season? Why would Leah McSweeney be on a legacy cast if she's been on two seasons? But she also, Ebony has her own new show, which focuses around her career and what she actually does, and she's killing it. Like, that is what I she know. Being I know, and that's control. where I like, I don't want to watch her sit here and, and play chess with the checkers. You know what I mean? Exactly. I want her... I want to go learn chess with her. I don't want to sit here and play tic-tac-toe with the other girls, you know? I mean, 
it, but I it, like it, watching Tic Tac Toe. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, right? Is it called Tic Tac Toe? Tic Tac Toe isn't that where you like zero and X? Tic Tac. I don't think it's called Tic Tac Toe. Three in a row. What? What the hell would it be called? What are you talking about? You also ca- thought it was Casa Azul. Bitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, hold on. So, no, I, I agree. I think that Ebony thrives not in this a bunch of women who are older than her from the Upper East Side screaming at each other and fighting over silly shit. Like, she's just way beyond that. So I don't, yeah. when people are like, throw her in there, I'm like, no, let her just continue doing what she does because she's so amazing and she's already booking other things. She's good. For Leah, In all fairness, though, she no. did get a shitty time to come on the show where it was like still pandemic time. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Oh, everybody's. Oh, see, I was right, Jason. What? Read the live chat. It's yeah, TikTok, you were oh. you were right that you were wrong. It's correct. You're right. No. Exactly. No, it's tic tac toe. That's what I said. Okay. I don't know. What did you think I said? Anymore. I thought oh. you said it's tic But that's not how you win an argument. I never said that. Tic-tac-toe. Roll the tape. Did I say tic-tac-toe? Or did I say tic-tac-toe? Now, now I'm, really... I'm gaslighting you. I might have said tic-tac because I'm thinking of tic-tac. But did I, I think say... I just gaslit you. This is actually really fun. I think I just Are you gaslighting me? I think I am. I'm not mad at it, though. I, I'm mad at it. <laughs> Now I'm so mad at it, I'm going to Leah McSweeney your ass with being a victim the rest of the time. Okay, enough of that. (laughs) Now, I want to move on, too, because as you guys know, this is something that I wanted to talk to you about. We have The Real Housewives of Potomac Season 8 that is currently filming, right? They're doing their first group event at Ashley Darby's new home. Ashley Darby was caught at a restaurant filming with one of the newbies. And they said that the entire cast is going to be back. My question... Well, Jason, first react to this for me, please. Let me know what you're thoughts For are. The, the cast? What are we talking about? Um, for Real Housewives? Adding, season adding someone new, Ashley Darby. Or are we talking about that Robin is still on the cast? I mean... I said this in our very last recap of the reunion um, on Hot Messy Topics when we were talking about Real Housewives of Potomac and... Uh, Robin not being so upfront about everything happening in her life and making people go to Patreon to pay. I mean, I'm sure she got a fine since we were talking about fines earlier. I said that now I'm more interested to see Robin on the show deal with this fallout of all of this stuff. Unfortunately, all eyes, all cameras, all ladies are going to be focused on Juan Dixon. It is his turn to sit in the Michael Darby hot seat, to sit in the fake Chris Bassett hot seat. Now it is Juan Dixon and Robin. It will be heavily focused on that. I'm pretty sure. And I'm actually, if you sign up for it, I'm here to watch it. I'd watch that. Right. I I definitely think it's going to be Juan's season to have all eyes on them or on him. But we're also hearing that both Giselle and Robin have been accused of hiding their lives. I can already tell you how this is going to look. That sounds reasonably shady to me. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it just sounds shady as hell to me. But Giselle has been, you know, linked to Jason Cameron on Winter House. She's going to use this as like a, oh, I'm with this guy. And it, it's going to be her storyline while she's getting into everybody else's storylines. Until Giselle her daughters always, call her out. <laughs> until her daughters call her out. Giselle always takes the Lisa Rinna approach where she doesn't really give you much of her life until we see her daughters. And that's like the most, I mean, I, oh, I that's love the part that I love. It, it saves her. It saves like, her. I love watching Giselle be a mom and deal with that. You know, be the single mom. Have have the kids in high school who are so well spoken and literally tear you apart all the time. <laughs> they see you. It's in the best way. It's great. I really do enjoy their relationship. I mean, but then for Robin to come in, I originally thought that they would have taken her out for selling this on Patreon. But then right after all this came out, and you saw the the whole situation play out, right? That she didn't have to answer for at the reunion. Then Juan gets fired. You're like, oh no, they'll want to keep them just to see how they're yeah. going to navigate because they just bought an expensive ass new house. Beautiful. And right before that, they had to pay off a lot of back taxes. You need a check. I mean, here it is. It it, it really sucks because, I mean, this is 
this isn't good. You're going in and, and all eyes are on Juan, like I said. This is going to be a crazy season because of this. But then, you know, wasn't he just uh, let go from his job? Yes. Okay, so we have all of this is just piling up right after they got on their feet. The, you know, they're going to get married again or got married again. They got married again. They got <laughs> you know? married again. You're getting on your feet. You got rid of the back taxes and the townhouse. Now you're living in the whatever. And uh, man, man, for every high, there's there's a low. But this is reality TV. This, If you're going to make mistakes like that, if you're going to do stuff like that as a public figure and not expect it to be on television, not only do people spend time and time, too much time, in fact, those people should get lives, but sifting through people's closets from way back in the day, they are currently sifting through everything you're doing on a daily basis. Now you have to answer for, answer for it on a reality TV show. It's unfortunate, but it's, it's, it's a Robin and Juan season for sure.